Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing some super easy and super affordable DIY outdoor or patio lighting ideas. Today's video is sponsored by Hoover. Hey guys, if this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so much for joining me and tuning in today. My name is Araceli and this is Araceli Chan at DIY. I am here to share all the cool stuff today and I would love for you guys to stick around by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. So in today's video, like I mentioned in the beginning, they're gonna be easy and affordable. I feel like these can kind of fit and mostly any space outdoors and maybe some even indoors if you prefer. So I don't really know what I'm looking like right now. I am really exhausted. I have been at it all day long. We just got back from my son's first freshman, high school freshman basketball game. So if my makeup is just stripping off my face, don't you guys mind it at all. Also, I had a protein shake that I had caffeine. So I'm very, 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 very hyper. Where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, the DIY lighting. Most everything that I used was Dollar Tree. Most everything. Without further ado, let's get on to the first DIY. The first DIY is gonna be super easy. So I have done lanterns like this before. This is just using a Dollar Tree hanging basket and then also a solar light from Dollar Tree as well. These are newer to Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen these globe ones. Um, when I did see them, I picked up several and really all I'm gonna do is just glue the bulb into the center. You guys can do it however you want. You can put it on the inside or the bottom. If you do it on the bottom, I feel like I don't know if the sun's gonna get to the like the little solar part or not, but if you do do it at the bottom, um, you guys can always add a plant or flowers to the top part. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you guys what it looked like at night because it wasn't fully charged yet. And then when I was able to, it was like really bad weather. It was super, super windy, so I couldn't get out there to film it. But you guys, more or less, <laughs> can tell what it would look like with the solar light at night. So my dancing partner for this one is the Blade Plus Cordless Vacuum, which is a handheld vacuum for small spaces. You can use it on hard floors, which I have plenty of, as well as carpet. And then it also has several different attachments that you can use, and it's useful for your home or your vehicle. I actually have showed you guys this vacuum before in a separate video and this is currently my go-to vacuum cleaner for my craft space. I think it's really easy to put together or take apart. If you have hard to reach spaces, you can always attach the reach wand and then the floor nozzle does swivel back and forth to get around tight corners. The removable dirt cup makes cleanup a breeze so that you can go from cleaning to a one-on-one -on -one dance sesh. Let's go. Alexa. My favorite part about this vacuum is that I can actually vacuum the top of my craft desk and it picks up all this little stuff that you would never see, like all that dust from the rocks that I used on these DIYs. So make sure you guys check it out. I will have it linked down in the description. All right, so on to the next DIY. It's gonna be just as easy as the first one. We're just gonna take one of these tiki torches from Dollar Tree and then also a solar light. I'm gonna be removing the tiki torch from the bamboo thing and then just attaching the solar light. You guys, easy peasy, no explanation needed on this one. Again, I did not 
um, I was not able to get some footage at night while it was charged because of the windy circumstances. Anyways, you guys can use your imagination and kind of figure out what it's going to look like outdoors. So I did end up putting it on a planter outside um, in my backyard and you guys will see. All right, I told you guys they were gonna be easy and inexpensive. <laughs> so on this one, I am gonna be reusing two things. A terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. These come in a pack of three, I believe. And then my dog keeps barking in the background if you guys hear her. Um, and then also a um, candle holder from Dollar Tree. So I have two different paints here. One, it's gonna be a black chalkboard paint just cause I don't have flat black paint. And then also the stone paint that I used in my last video for all of my patio decor. Literally just going to paint those. You guys can decide which color you want to paint what. I just did it this way. Um, I just, I don't know why I didn't show you guys how to spray paint these, but <laughs> I'm sure you guys can figure that out. Just glue those together. If you're going to have these outside, make sure you use something stronger than hot glue so that they don't fall apart. Just add a candle on there and you're all set. I always try to save my favorite DIYs for like the end. So the easy ones, you know, more simple are towards the beginning and then my favorite ones are towards the end. This one is just as easy, but it's, I don't know, I feel like it's so much cuter. So take, I'm gonna reuse this Dollar Tree tray that I have painted and repainted. And then I also have some of these tea lights from Dollar Tree as well and some Dollar Tree rocks. As you guys can see there, I just placed my tea lights where I wanted them trace them around and then I just started going at it with the hot glue and just throwing the rocks on there and wherever they land. Um, so <laughs> I actually did this several times. So I guess the easiest way to do it is to go around where I traced it. Like, you know, that way I, I know that my tea lights are going to fit in there. After all those little circles are um, traced with the rocks then I'm going to go at it with the hot glue and just let the rocks land wherever. And I did about two or three layers I think. You guys do it to your liking as full as you want to do it and literally that's it. And I guess I have to say that I did it this way that way when the tea lights are gone I can go ahead and replace them with some new ones. Okay, so last but not least, and probably one of my favorite ones, obviously, because it's towards the end, super easy, once again, all Dollar Tree stuff, I did find these... I guess wagon wheel looking things at Dollar Tree a while ago so I stocked up on these and then I also have this planter hanger also from Dollar Tree I'm just gonna go ahead and attach these with some black wire at first I tried hot gluing it on there but that didn't work so I went ahead and just grabbed my wire and just um, yeah wrapped it around made it really nice and tight so it's nice and balanced
Now I'm going to take one of these little candle holders from Dollar Tree, turn it upside down. I'm going to put a little glob of hot glue and just plop that right on there. Um, I wanted to figure out what I could cover all that glue with, so I did end up using a little plate from Dollar Tree that I spray painted, and you guys will see. I am also, I am going to attach it to the bottom of this so you can't see all that glue and literally just put a candle in there, hang it up, and you got a really cute hanging chandelier. That is it for today. We have come to the end of the video. Thank you guys once again for tuning in and joining me today. I, you already know those thumbs up really, really help my channel and it helps YouTube boost my videos to be seen a little bit more. Any like, comments, uh, engagement, you guys know. Even, the, even those thumbs down help me out. So if you leave those thumbs down, don't you worry, you're helping me out. So that is it, you guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Now we gotta clean our mess. Meant for each other, staring in her dark green eyes. I want to love her.